In this video, I'll show you how to make a ceramic slab mug. You're going to need some clay, some quarter inch spacers, a rolling pin, a knife, a fork, and templates for your mug. Flatten out your clay a bit and prepare to roll it using a rolling pin and some quarter inch spacers. Flip it over a few times in order to make sure that we're rolling it evenly. And we want to make sure that we can fit our 4 inch by 11 inch template. Once your slab is rolled out and ready, place your template on top and begin lightly trimming and scoring around the outside edge of your template. Be careful not to cut all the way through on the first try, otherwise you may distort the slab. So go around a few times before you cut it all the way through. Make sure that you cut it nice and evenly along the flat edges of the template. This four inch by 11 inch rectangle is gonna serve as the body of our mug. We're gonna use the scraps to make the bottom or the base of it. So we're gonna wedge these up real quick and prepare to roll out another small slab. Again, a quarter inch uh, deep using the quarter inch spacers. Now we're gonna trace and cut a round template with a circumference of 11 inches to match our mug. This will serve as the bottom. Now that we have our mug pieces cut, let's smooth them out a bit. I'm using this sponge to smooth out any inconsistencies in the slab and make sure that it's totally smooth. Now it's time to test fit our parts. I'm going to take my, my rectangular slab and place it on top of the circle, close to the edge. And I'm going to fit the rectangular slab around and overlap it a bit to create a seam. Now I'm going to trim where these two parts overlap at an angle so they meet up cleanly. Be careful not to distort your mug as you trim. And I'll clean these up a little bit before I score and slip everything in order to connect it. Make sure that you thoroughly score all the seams that are coming together on both your rectangular slab and your circular base. Now I'm applying some slip in order to glue or weld all of my pieces together firmly. Now I'll press and smooth all of my seams. Using the smooth end of a wood tool 
or a rib tool will help to blend all of your edges and clean up all of your seams, making sure that everything is firmly connected and clean. As you clean up all of your seams, you can also make sure that you're rounding and shaping your, your form of your mug, and also clean up the rim so that it's comfortable to drink out of. Also make sure that you smooth and clean up the inside of the mug. Finally, I'll go back over it with a damp sponge in order to smooth it out the rest of the way. Make sure that you make your mark or include your initials on the bottom of your pot. I'm going to place a bag over this and save it for tomorrow, let it stiffen up and dry to leather hard, and then tomorrow we'll add a handle. Thank you for watching.